There you go. Get it. Get it. Crushing it! Ooh, we're wrapping. We are descending still. Freestone is a route we've wanted to climb for over a year. Every weekend this spring, something prevented it. It's almost summer, temps are getting hotter, and it's now or never. In order to climb one of the most beautiful routes in Yosemite, we got up early, but morning rain caused a late start and a night we thought may never end. Oh, she's pumping. How are we feeling? We were feeling nervous, still are a little bit, but definitely getting more psyched now. <laughs> And I just wrapped the entire trouble on my mind verse, so I'm ready. Freestone is not an easy climb to get to. First, we hiked a mile, passing Lower Yosemite Falls. Then we quickly climbed 300 feet up Sunnyside Bench. And finally, we hiked and scrambled to the start of the climb. We're about two thirds of the way up Sunnyside Bench, AKA the approach. I have the ultimate junk show going. Tied in short, the rack disheveled, my good rock shoes on. Speed matters. We gotta get up to the climb. Sunnyside Bench actually has some decent climbing. Pretty cool cracks for some of it. A lot of it is tree scrambling. One of the videos, someone mentioned that I shouldn't extend my micro tractions so they have less ability to whip up and down. Good pointer can always learn more about rock climbing. Second part of the approach complete. Oh. After topping out Sunnyside Bench, the most strenuous part of the approach is another hour of steep hiking, scrambling, and light soloing to the base of the climb. Hey, no soloing. You know what they say, if you fail to plan to bring a muffin, you're planning to fail. Isn't that right? About the muffin? Yeah. How are you feeling? Right now I'm really out of breath. I'm feeling okay. This is the hardest route in the valley that I've attempted to climb. Old school 11C, which means it's not 11C. Nothing 11C is what they say. Hard that shit's hard or it's soft. I'm calling a hoax. We can't help but get psyched by the opportunity to climb a route established by three of the most legendary climbers in Yosemite history, Ron Kalk, Jim Bridwell, and Dale Baird. Woo! Let's do this. Oh, what a lovely bowl. Didn't know this was a sport climb. Somebody knows that I love gardening. They planted some lovely shrubs for me. The climb starts out heavily vegetated, likely due to the massive spray from the falls. Fortunately, that only lasted half a pitch and it was clean from there on out. This is a beefy pitch. Here, you think? The lack of bolts, chalk, and any sign of human traffic make rap finding a really fun added challenge on this climb. I certainly overshot the belay and had to down climb back to the correct area. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way harder. Well, that's what I'm talking about, girl. Doing her first gardening of the day. There you go, that's what you wanna do with your foot. Up, oh, up, oh, there it is, that's a jug. Bring your feet around as much as you can. <laughs> Wow, fancy footwork for the girl. <laughs> Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Noted as thin and scary and really thin in the slow and it's not that big of a deal. Make sure to get some gear off the belay 
and then make some tough moves up and right to get in the next crack groove splitter. Time is for weights with some nicer stance at tap. If you think you got the biggest one, you might as well shake it fast. This is old school. <laughs> wow, I did not want to blow that. I thought I told y'all dudes before, y'all dudes can't mess with me. Oh, f I'm hosing myself. Holy shit. Uh, uh, this is never ending butt cracks. And yes, for those of you wondering, the thought of Honold soloing this seems absolutely absurd. Hell yeah! Somebody Falls is an absolute unit. Look at that. I don't know if it's just me, but something about being by one of the biggest waterfalls in the world makes me have to pee constantly. There you go. Ah, nailed it. This part's nailed. Nice. There you go. Get it. Get it. Sick. Look at that fist. Look at the fist jam, the finger lock, pinky lock. Yeah. Let's go. Seriously, let's go. How was that one? I on sight at the second pitch. <laughs> Woohoo! Hell yeah. I was nervous though. It was like a crystally slick, flat edge. Like, not really a good edge. They're just, yeah. And then traversing all the way around. If I would have slipped, I would have swung a good ways. There's no way that was the 10D portion. That was way too easy. The 10D slab pitch is very real. I placed a great cam in a very hollow flake below my feet, pulling up on warm crimps really not wanting to fall and test all those pieces down below.
Oh, thank God. If you like a good grovel, this is certainly a good climb for you. Rick. It was stressful not only for the leader, but also as a follower and belayer. If the leader were to fall, you'd risk a factor two fall on only gear belays. And as a follower, if I were to fall while climbing in certain spots, I'd risk really large swings. Press up off the palm. If you fall, you'll probably slide eight or 10 feet left. Go for it. And I hope you'd understand. I wish this crack were hands. That'd be too easy. I boggled the start on the 11B Thin Fingers pitch. The pressure was on to quickly lower down and give it another burn. <laughs> yeah. I know that doesn't mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me. of water but fortunately we've got the falls <laughs> um, homeboy crushing it we were having too much fun on the glory ledge and let our friends pass us as we ramped up for the final pitches including the 11c overhanging off with we would pay for this later Look at his knee bar! It's no hands! How's our boy doing up there? Well, he got through the awkward section pretty quickly, it seems. Oh, I think there's two awkward sections. Oh, yeah. Finish glory. There you go. Glory. And then there's a hidden cam under there, under all my shit. That was an exciting pitch. Nails for 10 D. That's why we climb. So we don't just fucking assume we can do things or assume we can't. Do you have a number four? Oh, I do. You're constantly trying to sandbag me. I'm not. Tie it to the rope above you. The crux pit, 11 C off with. Alright, you can take. Fuck! Fucking loser! Just topped out the climb. That last 11C off with pitch. Burly. Can't tell if it's that or, or maybe I'm just soft. But, as always, killer view. The body's tired, the soul is full, satisfied. It's like now, seven wraps down, then hike all the way down there, over, down there, and we parked over there. Long way to go. Woohoo! We did it! Woohoo! We're out. So, okay, so we're locked. We're cammed. One, two, cam. Ooh, we're wrapping. We are descending still at 11 p.m. Loving it. Yeah, so fun. I 
After getting lost during a heinous three hour descent, we finally made it back to the van in over 20 hours total, absolutely wiped. Overall, we definitely recommend this climb. However, be prepared as there's some serious risks that you're taking getting on Freestone.